Okay, here we go. Here is a beautiful pixel art. I did not create this, so I cannot take credit for that. All I did was change the question, so I made it characteristics. I changed the answer, so they're going to indicate sexual or asexual. And then I added a box up here with directions. Now, if I push this out to students as it is, um, a student who is tech savvy is going to be able to figure this out. Go to conditional formatting. <clears throat> and if they click on any of the answer boxes, they're literally going to see what the correct answer is. Okay, now this is helpful for me because if I need to change an answer, okay, um, and, okay, so let's go back to uh, conditional formatting. And if I need to change an answer, I click on it. And so I can change what's inside the quotation marks and fix it if I made a mistake, okay? However, again, that gives students a chance to see the right answer. So before I push this out to students, what I'm going to do is make a copy. So this is ready to go, um, except I do not want to make it so easy for them. So instead of with shaded answers, I'm going to put no shaded answers. <clears throat> and... I'm going to keep the share settings the same. And now what I'm going to do is go into conditional formatting. And for each of the answers, I'm only doing it for the each of the answers. I'm not clicking anywhere on the picture. Okay? I'm going to open the conditional formatting and I'm going to remove the box only for the answer. So see how this is in B4? I want to just remove that square and click done. Okay, see how it, all it did was erase it for there. If I click this one, now I need to find B5. That was at the end. Erase it. Now here's the downside. Ready? If I click on this box, I don't know which pixels were being colored by it. Okay, so there's no way to figure it out after. So do not do this until you have the whole answer key set. But now if you go through and do this for each one, again, I'm looking for B6. I know I'm looking for whatever's in the B column. Okay, and I'm just deleting that one. So I'm going to go down and do that for the whole thing before I push this out to students so they cannot see the correct answer. Okay, and then when I share this with them, they will have to actually type the right answer into this box without seeing it shade to match the um, pixel art. So um, a little bit of a downside, it doesn't color this column. The huge plus is it's going to keep students honest and make them actually figure out the work. So, but again, last reminder, do not do this until your um, pixel art is all set and definitely make a copy. You don't want to do this with the original here. Over here, you can see I still have this copy with the answers um, color coded. I just want to make a copy of it and push out the uncolor coded to my students. Okay, I hope that helps.